Well, for National Hispanic Heritage Month, we are highlighting those who share their culture here in West Michigan. One small business owner originally from Cuba has quite the entrepreneurial journey and has grown a successful baking business over the past few years. That's right. Fox 17's Lauren Coomer met with her at her brand new studio to talk about her accomplishments so far, as well as how she keeps true to her Cuban roots while living in the American dream. I feel like Cubans are entrepreneurs by nature, so that, that is always and will always be present in everything I do. Vanessa Schmansky is the face of Sweet Details GR. Born and raised in Cuba, she was exposed to baking at a young age and then again working in the private sector with baking businesses. She says it's never something she thought she would get into. I remember taking their pictures and saying, giving them uh, some materials and like cupcake liners and stuff like that away. I'm like, I have all these just because my mom loves baking, but I'm not going to do this for a job ever. A year later, she started up Dulce's Detalles. The business started 10 years ago in Cuba and as part of the growth of the business, um, I was invited uh, to share my entrepreneurial experience in the United States. The program Wiley bringing in close to 300 young businesses and entrepreneurs to the United States as part of an internship with like businesses. That was seven years ago, taking back what she learned to Cuba. Then, just before COVID, she moved to Grand Rapids. Her business evolving a lot since that start. When I moved here, I had no idea. I came from a very well-established business. I knew what my clients like in Cuba. I know the way things are done in Cuba. But coming here, I mean, the weather is different. The holidays are different. Um, the language, the... What, what people want, the culture, everything is different. Figuring it out took some time, but she says her biggest piece of advice is setting goals to reach your successes. While she makes cookies, cakes, and other popular desserts, many of them still have the Cuban influence, like her meringue. And I do give it a twist, and I try to incorporate some um, things from the American culture. For Christmas, we like to put the um, peppermint candy crunch, but it's still like based on the Cuban tree that I had while I was a kid. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News. Making me hungry this early in the morning. For the rest of the year, she says that they'll be focusing on their corporate orders as well as classes and workshops out of their new studio. There will also be limited retail hours. You can find all that information and the schedule on our website, fox17online.com. I love a baking class. We are here for that. Yeah, That'd I want to know so how to fun. bake delicious treats. Yeah. It's on my list. I want right. to be a better baker for the holidays. So. <laughs> you don't have too much time. But well, better get started. <laughs> better get cracking on that.